All right, so this is gonna be the follow-up video for the last video um, where we were checking out the gravel trails out by uh, Thurso and Plaisance, Quebec. So in that video, we uh, checked out this trail here, Sensei de des Outaouais, and that brings you out to uh, Plaisance over here. So in this video, we're gonna be checking out the uh, Plaisance Loop, which is uh, right here. So since Trail Forks doesn't uh, show the trails, uh, I have to do this here in uh, Photoshop, but uh, the loop looks something like this. So basically you start at the uh, information center here. So it's another really beautiful uh, gravel trail. It uh, meanders through marshland and through rolling field and just cuts across these uh, slices of land here in the bay. So you can do it in either direction. I usually do it in uh, this direction going that way. And in this video we're going to stop at, uh, there's a little lookout right here and then there's uh, a little beach down here. And it's worth mentioning too, one of the highlights of this place is uh, this section right here. There's a super nice and long aluminum catwalk that uh, was built all through the marshland. And just recently they added in a brand new boardwalk. It's hundreds and hundreds of feet. So although you can't ride on it with your bike, you can still walk your bike, which is, uh, which is fine. And it's a super unique experience to be able to uh, walk through the marshland like that. And it's really long too, it's, it's surprisingly long. So I'd consider that one of the best attractions here and uh, it's worth coming out just to check that out. But uh, anyway, without uh, further ado, let's go uh, jump in and see what this thing looks like. Plaisance section of the uh, trails out here, the gravel trails. You can do these back to back to make for a big day of riding, or you can split them up. I'd say they're both nice trails. I'd say in general, this is probably a little more scenic. But they're definitely both nice trails. I've been on the bike and uh, few weeks. It's really a little rusty. Doesn't take long. Both ways. Paris. So yeah, last time I came, this section wasn't done. You have to take the road. Well, I don't think this goes very far. Yeah, let's go see the secondary parking lot here, further in. So, of course, you have a bird lookout in the marshland here. Let's go see if we can uh, see any wildlife. All right. So, I don't know if everybody can spot this, but right there, got ourselves a great blue heron. 
on full display. Just gives you kind of a uh, little bit of a view of the Canadian marshland. Okay, so from here it's uh, just a kind of a short stretch of road. So this right here is uh, it's called the Presqu'île. So it's uh, it's not it's almost an island. It's kind of like a little sliver of land that uh, is separated from the mainland. And what happens? This road will go and it'll cross the uh, back into the mainland. We have some nice vineyards here or uh, apple orchards. It's kind of cool. Okay, so you're gonna see a house with uh, a crucifix there. There's a street that goes that way. You want to take that one because that one brings you back to the trail. So, and it turns into a gravel road. So stick with that. So here's the mainland, now we're crossing over back into the mainland, we just came from there. Okay, so that thing is, uh, it's just a big long piece of land that comes out in the bay. It's called the Presqu'île, or an almost island, and then here's the other channel of water. So it's kind of unique, and there's, it's cool that there's like homes and farms and stuff there too. So. You can continue that way, that'll bring you back to the uh, trailhead, but there's just a little tiny um, lookout if you go this way. So I'm going to go check that out because I haven't been there for a little while and uh, let's go see what that looks like. Okay, so here I'm uh, hanging a right. That way just goes to the campground. Woo. So you can take a little detour here. This is a little trail on the right. It goes down to a little beach. La Plage des Jardins. So, I'm gonna just go check that out. This is a little beach in the summer. It's the uh, Ottawa Gatineau River, so it's like, eh. Up this way, it's a little more clean. But, uh, yeah, I mean, for a quick dip, I guess it's, it's okay. Okay, just back on the main trail now. Headed back.
so in the next clip uh, you're gonna see me I'm actually turning off right here and I'm diving down into the marshland with all the catwalks the aluminum catwalk is where these dotted lines are and then the uh, wood sections are all where the forest is here and uh, if you measure in uh, Google Earth then you're actually looking at about almost 1500 foot of boardwalk and it actually continues on the other side as well so that's a lot of wood a lot of hard work but it's really really beautiful it's too bad can't ride on it but uh at least uh can walk across so that's cool all right so i'm gonna walk this just because uh technically uh there's a sign saying you're not allowed bikes so just be aware of that um, if you have your bike, walk it, but, uh, yeah, this is uh, a really super, super well-built, uh, all aluminum little, uh, catwalk here. We're like right, right in the middle of a marshland, if you look around. It's like crazy beautiful, there's ducks over there. Um, this thing is built to last too. The aluminum won't rust. And it's got these uh, piles driven in. It's their aluminum too. That's neat. It's really neat. Looks like a, looks like a beaver dam over there. With some little ducks. Yeah, it's beauty. It's really calm today too. It's a beautiful day out. Beautiful day. This wasn't here before. This is insane. <laughs> this is crazy nice. This must have cost so much. So it looks to be about six to eight foot wide. That's about six foot probably. And uh, yeah, there used to just be like a trail here. And I guess they propped it up. So nice. So this catwalk, no joke, is literally going on forever. It's easily, easily so far over like a thousand foot. I've never seen anything like this and I see it still going on. Like, look at this, it just keeps going. It's so cool. It's like a magic carpet through the, through the marshland. I just wish we could ride on it with bikes. But I think, uh, like this is pretty steep here. It's like a six foot drop, so. I think that's why they're saying no bikes, just for like uh, safety concerns. But uh, this is this is so worth coming to check out. This is really, really, really something special. It's super nice. This thing is long. Wow. So. I just crossed the road and this is another uh, another wood uh, catwalk that you can take, this time with railings. Um, again, another beautiful, uh, beautiful wood catwalk here, right through marshland. And yeah, so this one brings us back onto the, uh, the Presqu'Ile. We're back onto the island. But I'm just gonna pick up the trail and go back. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. These were not here before um, when I came uh, two years ago. So, and it's cool just to walk, even if you have your bike. I mean, no sweat there. You just kind of 
you know, it's relaxing anyway. It's kind of just a chill place. Oh, this is another long one. Yeah, they did a lot of work here. Wow. <laughs> it's incredible. Right, so it's the same trail that uh, we took to uh, to go out in the first place. Just gonna shut her off and uh, I think that'll be about it. The Trousseau section and then this section, you know, for a late season ride when it's too wet anywhere else, or if you have a gravel bike or an electric bike, it's a really, really relaxing, beautiful trails. And uh, you know, who says gravel doesn't have to be fun.